Jesus is Lord. He's not only Lord, but he is my personal Lord and Savior. I just want to bless the name of my God. He is faithful. He is loving. He's awesome. He's powerful. And I want you to know that if you are looking for someone that you, you, you want to trust in, if you are looking for someone to trust, you can trust in Jesus. You can count on him because he never fails. Okay? Now, today, I'm going to be talking about the story in Luke. Luke chapter 1, I'm going to start from verse 5. And this is a story about Zechariah and Elizabeth. Zechariah and Elizabeth. So if you read the scripture, the scripture tells you that Zechariah was a priest, okay? And he was married to Elizabeth, who too was from a family of priests. Okay, so they were married, but there was a problem. The problem was that Elizabeth was barren. And Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth had been believing God for, you know, children, you know, from the time they were young. And they were never successful in having a child. And Zechariah and his wife were now old people. You know, they, they were far gone in age. And I believe that Zechariah was not even thinking of having a child anymore because of the age of he and his wife. But one thing I know that the scripture tells us that the Zechariah was faithful. He and his wife was faithful. They never stopped serving God, even though from the time they were young to the time that they were old, God had not answered their their prayers. God has not granted their request to him concerning a child, but yet and still they never turn their back on God. When you read the scripture, the scripture tells us that Zechariah and Elizabeth was righteous. And Zechariah always went about his duty serving the Lord and burning incense in the temple. Okay? So, scripture went on to tell us that there was this day that Zechariah went to burn incense, okay? And when he went to burn incense in, in the temple, there was, um, what happened was that uh, an angel of the Lord appeared to Zechariah in the temple as he went to burn incense. Because it was the time for him to, to do the incense burning, you know. And so there were people outside the temple that was praying, and he entered into the temple to go and burn the incense. And why in the temple an angel of the Lord appeared to him, and the name of this angel was Gabriel. So when this angel appeared to Zechariah, the scripture tells us that the angel appeared at the right hand side of you know the 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 the, the altar where they burned the incense that the angel appeared at the right hand side and when Zechariah saw the angel Zechariah was afraid you know it's amazing how most of the time in the Bible uh, whenever angel appear to people they are always afraid and most time the angel will have to tell them to not be afraid and this was what the angel did the, in, the angel introduced himself to Zechariah he said do not be afraid you know I'm an angel of the Lord do not be afraid and the angel told him that uh, uh, I'm here because God has sent me to give you a message and the message is that you your prayers have been answered. God wants you to know that he has answered your prayer, that you and your wife Elizabeth is going to have a son. And this son is not going to be an ordinary son. This son is going to be an anointed servant of God. The angel told him that from the mother's womb, while he's the, the baby is still in the mother's womb, the anointing of God is going to be upon that child from the womb. And that when Elizabeth gave birth to this child, told him that this 
this child is going to prepare the way for the Lord. This child is going to turn the hearts of the fathers to the son. This child is going to cause many to turn to God, you know. And this angel went on and tell and begin to tell Zechariah the great things that God is going to use his son John to do. And so Zechariah could not believe it because Zechariah thought that, oh, all the time I was young, I was praying for a child and I never got a child. And now that I'm old, how can this be? So Zechariah was like, how can this be? My wife and I, we are very old now. And what son will you give me? How can I believe what you are saying? And the angel told him that I'm Gabriel who stands in the presence of God. The angel said, because of where I'm coming from, because of where I stand, because of where I dwell, I'm telling you that God has sent me to tell you that your prayers have been answered. And because you don't believe what I'm saying, the angel said that you are going to, to be and dumb until this child is born. You understand? So uh, right there and then Zechariah lost his speech. He could not talk anymore, you know, and then the angel disappeared. And so when Zechariah left out of the temple and went outside, the people was kind of wondering because he kept so long in the temple. And so he was trying to explain to the people, but he could not talk. And he was trying to use hands, gestures, and things, you know, to try to explain what has happened, but he could not explain. And scripture tells us that he left and went home. And then his wife, Elizabeth, conceived, you know. And when she conceived, scripture tells us that she hid herself in the house for five months you know and she was praising God and she said that God had taken away her reproach hallelujah so you see there I just want to encourage you with this scripture to tell you that you see Zechariah was young he and his wife and they were believing God for a child and it never came they never got the child that they were believing God for all the while they were young but there was one thing that was so great about Zechariah and his wife scripture tells us that they were faithful they were righteous they did not turn their back on God because their prayers were not being answered they remained faithful so I want to encourage us as believers that we should be, remain faithful as children of God we should remain faithful even though there are times that we may take prayers to God we may take our request and it may look like there is no answer we should remain faithful faithful okay i know i had a friend that one day she came to me one morning and she told me she said well i this morning i already talked to god she said because this is just too much i have been believing god. there was something she was believing god for but she said i have been believing god for this thing and up till now it has not come to pass she said so i have decided i told god i gave him till the end of this year if he doesn't answer my prayer, if I don't have this thing, this thing I'm requesting from him, she said, I'm going to try to get it on my own. She said, so I told him I would give him to the end of this year. You know, and that is just so funny. But most time we end up doing the same thing. But you see, Zechariah and Elizabeth, it was not like that. They had got to the age where they had even given up on having a child, you know, and they just remained serving God. But then at the point that they had forgotten everything and told that it was over because of their age and everything an angel appeared to them to do to, to the husband and told him that you people are going to have a child okay so i want you to know i want to encourage us that we should not give up serving god no matter how it is whether our prayers are answered or not we should remain faithful to god we should know that we are in this thing till death do us part we are not even going to part not even after death we are going to part because even after death that's when life will begin for real that is when we are going to live forever with Jesus in eternity so I want to encourage us that we should be like Elizabeth and her husband we should not quit on God we shouldn't turn our back on God because maybe our prayers are not being answered or the things that we desire we are not seeing it. we should know that we are in this thing for life if you want to serve God you have to be somebody who will be faithful to God whether he answer your 
prayer or not. We have to know that we are not serving God because of what he can give us or because of the things we want, but we are serving God because we are cre- we, we were created for him. God created us for his pleasure, you know, and the life we live now here on earth, the life we live at any time we could leave this world. And the things on this world, the things that is in this world is just temporary, but the, the things that will come after this life is eternal is for eternity okay so i want to encourage us that we shouldn't turn our back on god because our prayers are not being answered we shouldn't turn our back on god because maybe things we want to see are not happening we should be like zechariah and elizabeth and know that we are in this thing for life you see these people had even serve God all through their life and their prayers were never answered. But right at the point where they had given up and the, but they remained faithful to God, with God's sin and angels would tell them that they were having a child and they did have a child. So I want us to just be encouraged by this story and to remain faithful to God, knowing that God is able, God is worthy, God is holy, God never failed, and anything that God said he will do, God will do it. And even if God decide not to do it, we should be like the three Hebrew boys and say that we will not turn our back on our God, we will not bow down, but we will remain faithful faithful to God because he who have called us he is well able to see us through so I thank God for this word I pray that we will remain faithful you know and know that God in his own time he has his own timing and he will answer our prayers even in Jesus name amen and amen Please stay blessed.